this video is uh, to show you how how stupid I am. Dropped the trailer on my wheels. I pushed hard in reverse before I pulled off because I had it unhooked. I pushed hard in reverse as hard as I could, but I guess I was just so heavy that it felt like it snapped in, but clearly it didn't. I pulled out here and thankfully landed on my tires. And thankfully I had a bottle jack on hand. So what I'm gonna do is grab some uh, two by fours, chop them up and keep lifting landing gear one by one because your landing gear does have two gears one is light for when it's heavy but this, i have 45,000 pounds in this trailer and it just will not go anywhere so we're gonna go this route and then i'll let you know if it works but hopefully it does good morning good morning we're heavy we're heavy heading back to our receiver looks like fuel went down like 515 and pilot it was more so uh, we're heading back to receiver from Friday so long story short recap Friday I brought a load to receiver they loaded I guess something that's smelling pretty bad and considering it's flour they rejected it and then uh, they were gonna have me take it back to the shipper but the shipper shipper didn't want to take it so basically after what is it Friday through Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday loads been in my trailer five days five days after five days of waiting they finally came to a resolution to take this back to receiver and they'll re reload it into a different trailer and then they'll decide what to do with it So, the good thing is, knock on wood, the times this type of thing has happened to me, like last time at Mount Vernon, Walgreens, like, look at this idiot. One quarter mile, turn left on Ohio Avenue. The th things like this have happened to me is I've been home. Melissa's cousin was in Denver and he got stuck in Denver for like a week and a half and uh but it, this worked out for me honestly because like i basically was home out of those five days i would have been you know two days home at least regardless i wouldn't have left on the road because it was weekend but uh you know so it worked out uh, in, in reality i didn't run three days which still sucks but rates are so bad that like i did all right I, I, I got paid good money and uh, I didn't even drive you know max I'm gonna end up driving is I drove you know 20 miles back to the truck where I park and then now I'm driving 20 miles there so in reality all I did was 40 miles on top of the you know existing load but to follow back on on, on beginning of the video was when I dropped my damn trailer on my tires Long story short is I park in the yard that I just pulled out of that you see me pull out It's a secured yard across the street from this pilot here and uh, If I'm greasing my truck or doing anything to the truck I like to be on pavement so I pull over here and I was gonna grease my truck so I disconnected my trailer and uh, My grease gun wouldn't work. I had I went ahead and bought a Deval one instead of the Milwaukee one I have this M12 and uh, so I was like, okay, screw it. I'm just gonna connect back. Mind you, I didn't even unhook. Like I didn't pull forward. I just pulled my fifth wheel. Uh, but uh, yeah, so basically I was gonna get going in reverse and you know, I slammed my tractor uh, brake off and pull my trailer on and I, I hit reverse as hard as I could, but this load is so heavy and it's loaded so messed up that I guess like it felt like I locked in and I even pulled forward as hard as I could and the trailer wasn't disconnecting so I was like okay I'm good so you know I went in reverse I backed out of the spot like and as soon as I started going forward I felt it and you know like the minute it started going a little bit the fifth wheel you know 
cleaned and it disconnected and it dropped on my tires there was an accident here just earlier that's probably the truck they're pulling away you can't see it in the background but uh, there was a tractor trailer completely blocking all lanes here in 70 westbound but basically uh, I had that little jack the 20 ton jack I have under my trailer it worked good for a little bit up until the point that it was lifting only one side of the trailer but once I got to a point where it was lifting the whole trailer the bar was just bending the cross beam between landing gears and it wouldn't lift so what I did is I had some 2x4s I would drop my bags and then I would stack some 2x4s on the uh, frame of the truck and then try to raise the bags up but that wasn't very effective either but I managed to push it up to the point to where I could lower the landing gear a little bit more and uh, basically like it wasn't going anymore anywhere so what I did is I just locked my diffs and gave it hell and went under the trailer and lifted it up so it just sucks this is you know something that happened to me once before when I just started driving but it is what it is you know Like this load is so heavy, I can't wait to get out of my trailer. Loads are so freaking bad. I'm hauling flour. I don't know if I already said that or not. And then, uh, Monday, I'm dropping the truck off at Freightliner for a, for a transmission. So I'm getting my transmission, I'm getting a reman one, and then I'm getting a clutch, rear main seal, you know, flywheel resurfacing, uh, oil cooler, oil cooler lines, transmission cooler I mean. So. I think the whole job, I think they quoted me like, what, I think nine grand. And also what I noticed is while under, I was under my truck is uh, I'm going to have to do my slack adjuster bushings. Not my slack adjuster bushings, my S-cam bushings soon. Because I didn't notice just a little bit of play in them, but it's more than I want. And uh, I am going to have to do my brakes sometime in the future. so. I'm going to hopefully uh, do that when I do my brakes because it wouldn't make sense to do the S-cam and S-cam bushings without doing the brakes because you're taking everything off. So we shall see. If you don't know what S-cam bushing is, it's basically like a rubber bushing that uh, S-cam sits inside the, what would you call it, inside the hub, inside the axle, whatever you would call it. And to my understanding, they're basically just like a press fit, and then they get greased up throughout the S-cam itself. And the tricky thing about greasing the S-cam that I don't like is you really can't see the grease because it's inside the brake chamber. And if you put a lot of grease, like it's gonna start pouring out into the brake chamber and that's not good news. You do not want grease inside your brakes. But yeah, hopefully they actually, uh, hopefully they actually unload me today. So it's definitely kind of a moody day here in St. Louis. This is my first oil change with the Costco oil. 
Kirkland brand 1540. Turn on my diesel heater, it's kind of chilly. I want to get a new seat, even though I got a new seat, but I want to get a different new seat and sell this one. I want to get a mid-back legacy low. And then in here I want to put a put like a, a vinyl, waterproof vinyl. Find the vinyl that's like color of my dash. I think that would look sweet. There's just always something to pay for. It's it's just, you know, being an adult, I guess. Cuz like I this year, you know, we haven't even really started. We haven't even really started the renovations on the apartment. I was having a whole boat of issues, a low boat of issues. I had a tenant that was complaining all the time and basically cops called the builder inspector on me and I had to pull permits for every single thing I want to do. And I had to hire an engineer and like engineer slash architect to build me plans. And then I had to submit them to get approved for a permit. So now I finally got a permit. And now since the the the, the city of the apartments that I live at, they don't they don't allow me to pull an integrated permit. I have to have a plumber and electrician pull their own permits to do the work. So like, yeah, but anyways, like I got to renovate that apartment. I got to get a new roof on the building. I want to build a concrete slab sidewalk. I'm getting a new transmission. I just paid my taxes, a good damn chunk of change for sure. Like it just, you know, like expenses keep rolling in. Bills don't stop rolling in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something, you know, being an adult, Especially like when you move out and start actually having your own bills and all that stuff. Oh boy, that, that money's so gone out of your bank so fast. If you ever find yourself in St. Louis, You do not want to sleep at this gas, this truck stop right here on Grand. This Philip 66 on Grand, you're gonna be you're gonna get waking up every all, all night by people asking for change and all types of crap. You'll wake up to people doing burnouts in front of the trucks. It's not a it's not a good spot. I'll tell you that much. East Grand is is not a good place to be. new light I want to install in the rear the one I had bought some time ago like one up top here is crapping out yeah folks let's keep on rolling get to the receiver and hopefully get a dock in and catch in a bit <sighs> all right well uh, we're at the receiver we got here like 740 it's 9 11 right now they still haven't started so definitely uh hopefully they get going so i can freaking actually book a load the broker i usually get loads from it's a mess in here the loads are so cheap that people are just taking them for dirt installed a new light here the other one was like crapping out it's off amazon I just bolted it up. It's not fully centered, but it's better than the other one, and it's definitely bright. And then, and I have this light up here. Definitely nice to have some LEDs in here. Unlike the other ones. 
and uh, yeah, some metal shavings here. <sighs> Be nice when I change the floor in here to like this color wood. Got a nice flow in here for sure. But uh, for now, <sighs> this will do. My hat is crooked as hell. Just take it off. My head is crooked as hell too. Can't take that off. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, hopefully, like really, really hopefully, like fingers crossed, I get unloaded and I can actually get a load. Because this is ridiculous. Because next week I'm not going to work. So, we'll see. But yeah, this is my setup. This is my home. Yeah, we'll stay here. Down here, I want to build like a little storage box where that wooden 2x4 thing is. That was for my bike that I took out. But yeah, I want to uh, build like a little storage box that's level with the, with the mattress. And then, you know, I can store stuff down there. Maybe like dirty clothes and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah. But yeah, folks, let's uh, keep waiting here. Hopefully, we do get loaded sometime soon, and then we'll catch up when we get rolling or a pickup or something in those words. Catch you later. Wait, in case I didn't show you this a new faucet. This one's, I think, 15 bucks on Amazon. It has like this 200 milliliter thing where if you select it, it'll shut itself off. After it flows about 200 milliliters, I'm wasting water, but to show you, yeah, I got some dishes to wash. But yeah, you get the point. Catch you later.